we're doing another bag review video so in this video i saw this bag on amazon and i wanted to grab it i liked the price point and i liked what it was like because i have a bag very very similar to this so we're going to go over this one and then we're going to go over the comparisons so i think the bag that they're trying to replicate here so this is the element equipment duffel bag so you can see right here <laughs> so as you can see right here it says element equipment pretty big on the outside uh, and this is supposed to be an 80 liter duffel bag so a few really cool characteristics about this duffel bag is that it actually has backpack straps which i have a bag very similar to this one that i've used a lot with the backpack straps it's actually this blue north face bag and we're going to go over the comparisons here in a second it has two straps, one on each side, actually two handholds uh, on each side, and then two both on the side here. So if you're walking, you could carry it like this, which is actually a really great way to carry this kind of bag. And there is no luggage pass through, but I always carried a, if I had this bag or my North Face bag with a suitcase, I always just put the, uh, the shoulder straps over the luggage carry through uh, and it actually worked great like that. So really quick, it has all this webbing on the outside. So if you wanted to strap this to something like the top of your car, if you had a luggage rack, something like that, this bag could actually very easily be strapped to a luggage rack on a Jeep, a truck, a car, etc. And it is supposedly, uh, I'm not going to say waterproof just by looking at how these, some of these zippers work, but it is probably pretty water resistant especially because this is kind of like almost like a rubbery texture on the outside and what it is. And so I would be willing to bet that it's pretty, uh, pretty water resistant um, as well. Uh, and then the way this works is you would actually put this on your pack and then to help with the water resistance, instead of just these zippers being exposed, we have the top part actually the opening of this bag actually kind of covers up uh, the zipper area. So when you open it up, now these are not YKK zippers or anything like that. They're just kind of basic, uh, uh, probably just cheapo zippers to be honest with you, but they, they seem to be working just fine and they unzip really well. So the inside of this element equipment, it's really just kind of a big cavernous bag on the outside. But on each side, we actually have a little um, pocket kind of built in, which is actually super nice that they do that with one on each side like that. And then in the lid right here, we have another pocket right here. So this bag is supposed to be 80 liters. And the price point that I got it for, obviously the price will change uh, depending on where you bought it from and when you buy it at. So now a few comparisons between the this Element 80 liter and my North Face. This is supposed to be a medium. So I, I believe that's around 71 liters is what they said. Uh, and right away, kind of the, the very similar is that this is, you know, this has backpack straps. It has the webbing with four handles on each side. And you could very easily strap this down just like you could this one. Now, the Element bag does have uh, a little bit more loops for that, but a really big difference is that it is all plastic, but right away, you can see, even on the North Face, it is plastic as well, but you can see the size difference in these two clasps here. This one is much bigger, which means the webbing is probably going to be a lot stronger than this one. I've actually had this bag for about six to seven years. I actually bought this from the North Face store in Seoul, South Korea. So uh, to say that this thing is held up would be an understatement because I've used it for that long. And I've brought this on so many trips. Uh, I've traveled with it to Cambodia, uh, Thailand, Japan, uh, China, a lot of places this bag has traveled me with, uh, you know, and I still bring it in my car to this day. So if this bag even holds up, if the Element Equipment duffel bag holds up even just a fraction of the amount of time as this bag, you know, the price point on it is, is going to be really nice. Now, the other thing is they both have this like bottom, it's like a canvas material on top of the rubber. They both do that. 
But I will say, even even kind of sitting on the table, I don't know if you guys can kind of tell, the North Face bag, if I kind of clump it up, it kind of stays up just for a little bit. Uh, whereas the Element bag, it really just kind of falls almost immediately. Now, I don't know if that's because this bag is brand new and this one is older, but the rubber material is definitely a lot thinner on the Element equipment bag. And you can just tell just by feeling it, I can tell that it is a lot thinner. And the zippers, I don't know if these are YK, yeah, these are YKK zippers on the North Face bag. And the zipper seams are just much bigger and much more robust. So you can definitely tell the price difference by just kind of messing with each of these bags. You can tell that the North Face duffel is a lot nicer than the Element equipment bag. But you know, like I said, the price difference is pretty big. Not everyone can afford this kind of bag, but I will say I've used this one for so long. Uh, the other big difference between these two uh, is that the North Face bag actually has an uh, outside pocket right here with a mesh on the inside. And on the inside, the North Face bag does not have any mesh pockets on either end, but it does have a pocket right here at the top on the flap. So those are the big differences between these two bags. This one is obviously a much cheaper as in price wise. And you can actually see the quality difference with this bag as well when you hold this up side by side. If you actually never, if I never did a direct comparison between the North Face duffel and this Element duffel, uh, I would probably come up to the impression that this is actually a pretty high quality bag. But as soon as you see the differences, you can tell we have YKK zippers. The webbing is bigger. The outside material is thicker. Uh, and even the weight, I can tell that this is a much heavier bag than this one, which means it's probably built with more durable materials in mind. But, you know, if you're gonna, just going to be using this to kind of keep in your car or kind of keep things organized, because I personally don't like to use a lot of those like plastic tubs, I would rather get a bag. Uh, this would actually be perfect for that. So, I'm probably going to be using this personally to organize some stuff that a lot of people would otherwise put into like those like big plastic bins or stuff like that. And with the price point that this bag was at, this is about the same price as a lot of those plastic bins. But the big difference is, is that if this gets damaged, it's probably a lot easier to repair than a plastic bin. So there you guys go. This is the 80 liter uh, element equipment duffel. And then this is the around 70 medium size North Face duffel that I've been using for several, several years. I can tell that this is, and I'm going to hopefully keep using this for several more years because it looks like it's held, held, being held up nicely. So I'm going to keep using it.